What's going on everybody? It's your boy Christopher Sliman, Sly Guy Fitness, coming at you with a new video. I'm here with my boy Q today and we're going to be talking about a leg workout for some huge legs. Say what's up to the people, Q. What's going on YouTube world? My name's Q. I'm here with my buddy Chris. Yeah, we're just here to give you a quick introduction and some workout tips on our Killer Cuts Episode 7 leg workout. Hell yeah. So, uh, let's get started. Right away we are going to be doing some front squats. This is uh, some footage of my boy Q trying to kill it right here. Um, what I like about front, front squats personally Q is that how much they hit quads, dude. I think that it's very good to have variation when you do workouts like this. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely. And I would say too, just for this workout, I prefer wearing the belt too, because especially for front squats, I definitely like keeping my chest up. And the biggest thing is I try to visualize having all three parts of my foot firmly on the ground, having my, my first toe, my small toe, and my heel, trying to make sure I just try to go through the workout, go through the range of motion, hit everything I need to do, and get that killer burn. Heck yeah. And you know, as uh, Patrick Starr once said, you just gotta firmly grasp it. Sometimes you just gotta firmly squat it. Firmly squat it. Uh, my boy Q was just telling me some some good shit. He was like, everybody, mass is in session. <laughs> From the master of physicists. <laughs> From himself, the master of physicists right. himself. Don't sue me for that, please. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I'm uh, hitting squats, and uh, you know I got the Iron Man socks on because you got to pay respect to, to the real heroes out there. Um, we tried to go up. We're trying to get heavy. Uh, something that you really want to do with these leg workouts guys is you definitely want to go heavy don't be afraid to go heavy as long as you have a spotter then you know worst comes to worst you can drop the bar um, definitely want to go with heavy weights and low reps how cute I would say yeah it depends on what you're what you're really shooting for for the leg workout definitely what we talked about before this leg workout was yeah we we're definitely gonna go heavy shooting for you know the 46 rep range uh, good rest in between our sets but just make sure we're just hitting our hitting our four to six as much as we need to take in the perfect time to rest and just keep hitting it yep exactly and uh, something else I like to do when I'm uh, working out for size is I like to take longer breaks in between each of my sets I'll usually take about 90 seconds to two minutes to make sure that my heart rate settles down um, I want to make sure that I am just really training for mass and that I am not trying to do uh, any kind of cardio which um, you know, could even be considered from the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Like it can be like, uh, you know, you keep, you keep your, your rest time short, your heart, your heart rate's elevated and you're going to keep it up. Um, now might I ask what in the actual, are you doing here, dude? What is it? Are you practicing your halo tea bags? I'm working on Yeah, dude. See, I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to put myself in that situation of like, I just killed that solid, that camper who has just been popping me for the good three minutes, you know, crept up behind him, hit him with that good assassin strike. So I had to give him a couple bags, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Quick um, two, two to three sets, six to eight reps of quick bags, you know, quick one, one leg at a time. Give you that perfect, uh, that internal muscle grind on top of, you know, improving your teabag game at the same time. Okay, you know? I respect it, I respect it. And uh, let's see, next up in our workout sesh was the leg extension. Uh, I really, really like this machine. I think it's one of the best for completely targeting the quads. Mm -hmm. um, this was definitely a quad heavy workout. As you guys saw, we did hack squats too. Um, and I, I personally think hack squats put a lot of emphasis on the quads and kind of on the knees too. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of ways to train. Uh, sometimes we'll do hamstring focus workouts. Sometimes we'll do more quads. Uh, speaking of hamstrings, boy Q's killing it on the hamstrings over here. Yeah, and for this leg machine in particular, I really like the fact that for, you can hit your hamstrings, but you can isolate one leg at a time. So you like, if you do um, double leg kickbacks or, you know, try to do any other type of hamstring workout, you're not really able to isolate the hamstring muscles in particular. And that's why I really like in this one, you can really squeeze down, keep your back straight, focus on the concentric curl of your hamstring, and just really focus on the tightening of your glutes, as well as the posterior part of your inner knee. And you can see here, like when Chris is doing it, he's holding on to the, to the hand grips, but he's really focusing on as he's coming up from his whoa, contraction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. He's coming up from his contraction. <laughs> what are you doing? And, and as you can clearly see from the cake that we have here, He's squeezing at the very top. He's just making sure he has pure muscle isolation, which is really good indication that you're hitting your hamstrings hard on this. Okay. See, I don't have a machine like this at my gym. So the first time I hopped on there and I felt like my tendon move up, I was like, oh, 
Oh God. Mm -hmm. All right. So last up, I just uh, wanted to show you guys this footage of my boy Q and his uh, Greek god calves. <laughs> Get out of here. So anybody who's watching this, just know that you will probably never achieve this level of calfness in your life. Bro, don't even talk no. about that. But, <laughs> no. but for this workout in particular, I think that most people, when they do this specific type of workout, they just try to go as heavy as they can. You know, they just try to do a quick 8 to 10, just try to put on yeah, me put too. on in front of people. You know, I feel like if you just hit some lighter weight, just do a quick set of 20 to 25 to warm up, you really start to notice what muscles or what parts of your calf are weak once you start doing a good 20 to 25. Just lighter, lighter weight in particular for this workout. I'm not saying for legs in general, just for the calves in particular. 